What's going on? How are you guys today? We're gonna do a quick little meal update and I'm gonna go over the things I've been doing in the past few months to improve my health and in general recover from you know the eight years of being on the carnivore diet, which has been a pretty long process. We're about two years in now. So let me show you guys what's up. I'm just heating up all the components of my meal here. Earlier in the Instant Pot, we prepared some organic white rice with bottled mineral water in there. That is warming up in one of my saute pans. In the other saute pan, we have some organic cannellini beans, which I put uh, some white bean puree in. If you guys missed the recipe last Saturday, this has a lot of garlic, a lot of onion. Very, very delicious. And I usually have it with bread, which I was too lazy to get from the bakery today. So we're using that to add some flavor to the regular beans as you know this is very pungent and you don't really want to have it on its own and we have some roast beef from frankie's free range meat uh did some wood fire on the outside of this as opposed to just oven roasting so you guys might enjoy this batch a little more and maybe we'll keep doing that moving forward over here uh, we have some water kefir grains and some water kefir probably not going to have the grains uh, with the meal tonight but we will definitely have some water kefir now usually i will go down to that bakery every uh two three or four days to get some more baguettes because i have been doing that instead of rice i feel pretty good on it but because of the traffic how crazy it was in the city today i don't want to sit in my car for an extra hour and a half to get some bread i'd rather just make some rice oh let me show you guys because i didn't do it in the recipe video the texture of the bean puree when it's cooled it's very solid it's very firm it's actually a little bit gelatinous, uh, visibly speaking and texture-wise because of the collagen broth we added into this. So very, very enjoyable. Probably lasts up to two weeks in the fridge. So, you know, just make a large batch with two or three cans of beans. And then you can have it with some bread or organic pita, chips, whatever you like. The meat is cooked really rare. Honestly, it's kind of like raw in the middle, but um, and that, that's why people like it so much. It's really juicy, very flavorful. And you can't actually get this stuff. You know, if you go to any supermarket, even Whole Foods, it's all conventional feedlot, grain-fed beef. Maybe one of these uh, prick farmers started copying me and making roast beef themselves, but those people can't cook their way out of a paper bag, so I'm not too worried about it. So let me break down this meal a little in depth to just give you guys an understanding of why I'm eating certain foods and specifically what's in them. So this is just grass-fed beef with salt on it. We haven't been using the pepper lately. I know a lot of you guys are really strict on the diet. Lots of protein. Main purpose is B vitamins. And, and to really be healthy and feel good and optimal, you have to eat at least like three quarters to a pound of high quality animal protein per day. And most people aren't doing that specifically because of the quality. This is organic white rice with mineral water. So there is some mineral content. Uh, there is also collagen broth in here, so even more amino acids, even more B vitamins. That's one of those things I've been doing recently to diversify the amino acid profile in my diet, give me more B vitamins, and I've been feeling a bit better having the broth consistently incorporated into foods like this. The beans, higher mineral, high in fiber. Honestly, I just do it to have some variety here and there. I will also just like eat some apples instead. Uh, these are canned, so I should be really making them myself. And then we have the orange flavored water kefir, which is rich in B vitamins, has an alcohol content. Most importantly, the probiotics to help us digest this very large amount of carbohydrates and starch. And, and this is way too much food, guys, but you know that rice is only good for like a day or two, so I just put it on the plate. And here we have our masticum in the top of our spice grinder. It needs to be powdered. And I've explained this before, but yeah, you could chew the masticum, the pellets. It's not going to be nearly as effective. I would not use capsules. I would never use capsules for the masticum because they might not break in the stomach. And that's the only real part you need the mastican right when the food enters your stomach. So you want a powder above everything else. Let's have some of this delicious roast beef. Yeah, throwing that on the wood gives it a, a hint of that smoke flavor. It's very good. The rice is delicious, small amount of oil in there with the broth, very mild flavor. Adding the, the white bean puree to the white beans 
is a pretty nice seasoning move. I like it a little bit more. This is the orange flavored. And we should have some uh, flavored kefir in stock later this week, guys. I know we've been running out. So yeah, having the broth in the diet seems to have helped a little bit. I've also been able to increase my magnesium dose. So I've always known that, you know, on my hair mineral analysis, I'm low on magnesium. I need to get more in the diet. But when I took it, I would always get insomnia. And I've tapered it into the point where now I can increase the dose. So being able to have the magnesium consistently at a higher dose every day has given me a lot more energy. In addition to uh, being able to have the goat testicles for testosterone once a week, once every two weeks, pretty big game changer. So my liver function is definitely getting better and improving also probably because I've been out in the sun because it is, you know, early summer now in New York and that's probably been the most important factor. So we'll see how the summer goes and then maybe I'll have to get away a few times during the winter and the colder months just to, to get that sun consistently. A little bit into the meal, I'm going to have my maybe half teaspoon of mastic gum. Sometimes I'll do that twice, but about three times, usually a bit too much mastic, I'll end up getting diarrhea or having digestive issues. So this roast beef is delicious, but I was thinking of trying a ribeye for you guys, although it would be pretty expensive because this is already, I think like $22, $23 a pound. So the ribeye would have to be, I mean, almost double that, probably 35 to 40 a pound because ribeye is very expensive, but maybe we'll try it this week. I think it'd be pretty delicious. The nice thing about this roast beef is when it's really rare in the middle, it retains so much of the moisture and has a very pleasant texture. You guys are buying it all, so I, I couldn't actually eat it like this past two weeks. This is the first day I'm having it. And like for like a month or two, the sales were kind of down, but for some reason you guys uh, decided you wanted roast beef. You guys kind of caught me on uh, a day that hasn't been typical for these past few weeks. Usually I'll just have <laughs> a whole baguette and I'll, you know, one side will be a roast beef sandwich and then I'll make some potato chips or, you know, the past few days I've been slicing up the other half of the baguette and dipping it in the bean dip. So... Remember, we'll show you guys the bread boy diet next week. I mean, it's pretty simple, guys. As I said earlier, your body only needs maybe half a pound to three quarters of a pound, probably less, of quality animal protein per day to be optimally healthy. Then the rest of the calories you eat, the rest of the stuff you consume, should just be minimally inflammatory. There doesn't have to be an additional nutritional goal. I mean, have the water keeper in your diet is a big factor in making sure your gut microbiome is healthy. But like the raw tars and the people overdoing the the vitamin stuff is uh, going to cause a lot of health issues long term. Now I'm full. And if I was smart, I would stop eating. But this is why I like having the bread and the pasta and the other stuff. Because I can kind of like stuff myself and enjoy it a little bit more. So I'm going to uh, probably have an organic apple. Um, although for the past two weeks I have been having the bananas without as much of an issue. Maybe like one in three times I'll end up getting a headache after eating them if I lay down to rest or something too quickly. Um, but we'll just have a little bit of fruit on top of this meal. So that's it for today guys. I'm going to have a few charcoal capsules after this meal. But I've shown you guys everything I've been doing. Maybe we'll do like a supplement update in a month or two. Not really sure. I've been pretty consistent with that, so I figured I might as well show you guys. But if you want to learn more and see some interesting products, you guys should definitely check out frank stefanocom We have the roast beef and some collagen broth on frankiesfreerangemeat.com, as well as some salt and some seasonings. Water kefir, frankiesfreerangefoods.com, guys, and the masticum on organ supplements. As much as I would like to have one website with everything, I can't ship everything together, guys, so it's just not practical. frank com. Outside of that, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.